everyone so welcome back to the new lab session of Microsoft Excel so in this lab we'll see one very important shortcut key that will help you a lot while you're working with large number of data okay so while you're processing or when you are calculating large number of data this shortcut key probably will be uh, vital for you so suppose I give you one scenario like if you have number of names are there now I want that for the time being I want you to copy this names in this column cells okay so what you do generally first you need to select the names okay so for selecting the names you follow two steps or two uh, you could say uh, two way through which you select the names one is using shift and down arrow that is this is a key that is you use either this shift and down arrow or using your mouse okay so mostly we use probably mouse if you have so see here we have 50 to 60 names so you can easily uh, select through mouse but if the number of names are increasing to let's say 200 to 300 500 so it will be a time taking process for you to select through mouse now Microsoft for that Microsoft is providing you a shortcut key that will help you to select the exact number of cells name cells for the timing name cells present in a column okay so the shortcut key is you see so the name of that or the shortcut key is generally is your control plus shift plus down arrow so this control shift and down arrow arrow will help you to select the exact number of cells having the names so just take your mouse here and press control shift and down you see it will select the exact number of cells having names you see at the top you have Manas Ranjan Patnaik and at the very bottom you have Swayam Sanket this the last name so using control shift and down arrow you exactly select the number of names present in the cell so you see how fast it selects the names so this is a shortcut key you have to use control shift and down arrow to select the number of cells but be careful each cell must have names there should not be a blank in between this suppose if I give you an example suppose if I copy it here and I give you two blank and suppose I copy these two names here now if I take my mouse here and if I press control shift and down arrow you see it selects only this two reason it will not go to here because there we have a blank but if I take it to the top now if I press control shift and down arrow it select the exact number of cells so this is the thing you have to be careful so if you see or if you find if all cells are having any value and if you want to select all the cells for the time you have to press this shortcut key that is control shift and down arrow 